Are you looking to declutter your life in 2024? We all know that a clutter-free space can create a stress-free environment. But where to start? Well, you're in the right place. In this video, we'll be sharing 27 of the best decluttering tips for the upcoming year, tips that can help you transform your space and ultimately, your life. From tackling small areas to setting achievable goals, we've got you covered. So without further ado, let's dive into these life-changing tips. Firstly, remember to start small. Decluttering doesn't have to be a mammoth task that you tackle all at once. Instead, consider starting with one area at a time. This could be as small as a drawer, a shelf, or a corner of a room. Breaking down your decluttering process into manageable chunks can make the task seem less overwhelming and more doable. As you begin this journey, it's also important to set achievable goals. Ask yourself, what do you want to achieve? Are you aiming to create more space in your home? Or perhaps you want to reduce the time spent cleaning and organizing? Whatever your goals may be, having a clear vision can help guide your decluttering efforts and keep you motivated along the way. Remember, there's no rush. Take your time and celebrate the small victories as you go. By setting clear goals, you can make decluttering manageable and stress-free. Next up, make decluttering a regular habit. It's like brushing your teeth. Done regularly, it prevents buildup and keeps your space fresh and inviting. The key here is to set a schedule that suits your lifestyle. Be it daily, weekly, or monthly, the important thing is consistency. Now let's talk about the four box method. It's a simple, straightforward technique to sort your items. Imagine you have four boxes in front of you. The first box is for items you want to keep. The second is for things you want to donate. The third box is for items that need to be thrown away. And the fourth box is for items that belong elsewhere. This method helps you make conscious decisions about your belongings and their place in your home. It's a great way to avoid mindless clutter and to keep your space organized. Remember, consistency is key when it comes to decluttering. Moving on to our next tip practice the one-in-one-out rule. This rule is as simple as it sounds. Whenever you bring a new item into your home, make it a point to let go of an old one. Bought a new book? Pass an old one on to a friend. This method helps to maintain a balance and prevent accumulation of unnecessary items. Now let's talk about organizing those items you use frequently. It's easy to let these become clutter if they don't have a dedicated space. The key is to keep them within reach but not in the way. For example, if you're an avid reader, have a small bookshelf near your favorite reading spot. Love to cook? Keep your most used utensils and spices near the stove. By practicing the one-in-one-out rule and organizing your frequently used items, you can keep your living space streamlined and efficient. This will not only keep your space tidy, but also make your life easier. Let's not forget about digital clutter. In this digital age, our devices can become just as cluttered as our physical spaces. Emails, files, photos, apps, they can all pile up, causing unnecessary stress. Start by deleting unnecessary files and organizing the rest into appropriately labeled folders. Unsubscribe from those pesky emails that provide no value and take up precious inbox space. Now let's talk about responsible donation and recycling. When you come across items you no longer need, consider if they could be useful to someone else. Many charities will gladly accept gently used items. For those things that can't be donated, recycling is often a viable option. Always try to dispose of items in a responsible manner that minimizes harm to the environment. Remember, decluttering is not just about throwing things away. It's about making conscious decisions to create a more organized and clutter-free life. Dealing with sentimental items can be tricky. You're not alone in feeling attached to objects that hold memories. But remember, it's not the item, but the memory that's important. Start by sorting sentimental items into categories. Keep what truly brings you joy and holds deep personal value. If something makes you feel more burdened than joyful, it might be time to part ways with it. Photographs can be a great way to preserve memories without keeping the physical items. Now let's talk clear surfaces. Clutter-free countertops and tables can drastically change the feel of your space. The key is to keep only what you need and use daily. Everything else should have a designated storage place. Regularly clearing surfaces can make your home feel more spacious and relaxing. Remember, less is more. 
It's about creating a space that feels good, not just looks good. A clear space leads to a clear mind. And that's something we could all use a bit more of in our lives. Let's move on to your wardrobe. Ah, the wardrobe, the perennial pit of forgotten fashion and hidden treasures. It's time to breathe fresh life into this often overlooked space. Start by pulling everything out. Yes, everything. This allows you to assess what you have and what you've been clinging on to. You'll likely find clothes you haven't worn for a while. If it doesn't fit, if you haven't worn it in over a year, or if it doesn't bring you joy, it's time to say goodbye. Donate them, swap them with friends, or recycle responsibly. Now let's talk about storage solutions. Efficient organization is key. Use containers, baskets, and shelves to categorize your items. Maybe you prefer grouping by color or perhaps by occasion. Whatever your method, make it work for you. Consider adding labels for an extra layer of clarity. Remember, the goal is to create a wardrobe that's easy to navigate, where everything has its place. Proper storage solutions can make a world of difference. Ever considered a minimalist approach? Minimalism is more than just an aesthetic. It's a lifestyle that aims to strip away the unnecessary, leaving only what truly serves a purpose or brings joy. It's about choosing quality over quantity and understanding that less can indeed be more. In practice, this might mean decluttering your home, simplifying your schedule, or even reassessing your relationships. Now, let's talk about paper clutter. It's easy for paper to pile up, but with the digital tools available today, there's no need to let it overwhelm you. Consider digitizing important documents, bills, and receipts. Scan them and save them in an organized digital folder. Shred and recycle what you don't need, and for the hard copies that you must keep, consider a simple filing system. Remember, the key is to keep only what is truly necessary. Embracing minimalism can be truly liberating. It's not about deprivation, but rather making room for more. More time, more peace, and more joy. Progress can be motivating. Isn't it gratifying to see the fruits of your labor? That's why taking before and after photos during your decluttering journey is so beneficial. These snapshots serve as visual markers of your hard work and progress. They reveal how far you've come, and that's a powerful motivator to keep going. But decluttering isn't just about your physical space, it's also about your mental space. Yes, we're talking about decluttering your mind. This might involve practicing mindfulness, meditation, or simply taking a moment to pause and breathe. By clearing out mental clutter, you can reduce stress and increase focus. Think of it this way. Just as you wouldn't let your home become a chaotic mess, you shouldn't let your mind become one either. Regular mental decluttering can lead to a more peaceful, productive, and positive mindset. So go ahead, sort, organize, and clear out. Just like your space, your mind needs decluttering too. As we wrap up, here are a few more tips. Rotate those seasonal items. Keep your space fresh and functional by storing away items that aren't in use. It's time to pack up those summer beach towels and bring out the cozy winter blankets. Don't hesitate to ask for help. Decluttering can be a team effort. Involve your family or friends and make it a fun, productive day. Set time limits. Avoid getting overwhelmed by setting a time for each decluttering session. Try the popular 20-minute method. Set a timer and get to work. When the timer rings, take a break. Unused items, say goodbye. If you haven't used something in the past year, it's time to let it go. Remember, your home is not a storage unit. And don't forget to utilize vertical space. Install shelves or hooks to maximize your storage. Every inch counts. Evaluate sentimental items. Keep what truly holds meaning. But remember, memories are in your heart, not in your stuff. Practice saying no to new items. Be mindful of what you bring into your home. Every item should serve a purpose or bring you joy. Develop systems. Create routines to maintain organization. A little bit every day goes a long way. Consider upcycling. Be creative and repurpose items. An old ladder can become a chic bookshelf and finally take a digital detox. Unsubscribe from unnecessary email subscriptions. Your inbox will thank you. Let's recap the main points of the video. Start small, set goals, and make decluttering a habit. Sort your items, donate responsibly, and keep your frequently used items accessible. Clear your surfaces, declutter your wardrobe, and find smart storage solutions. Embrace minimalism, manage paper clutter, and take before and after photos to celebrate your progress. Remember, decluttering is a journey, 
not a destination. Celebrate your progress and enjoy a clutter-free 2024.